Sophie. Oh, yeah. Sophie Cox, correct? Of Worldica, and you guys are based in London. We are, yes. And we're standing here in the Press and Blogger Lounge at Le Web, the largest and most renowned conference on web technologies in Europe. And we were just chatting about some of the things that you guys are up to at Wor uh, Worldica. Can you kind of tell the world what they need to know? So basically, we are bringing together charities, NGOs, brands, and government bodies online and trying to foster collaboration between them all. So try to help them work across the kind of traditional organizational boundaries. So it's about collaboration and uh, amplifying messages and uh, just trying to save the world. And so, who are you primarily targeting? So, at the moment, we focused on the charities mainly and individual activists. Um, found that a lot of these smaller charities don't necessarily have a web presence. They wanted to get online, very easy content management system, that kind of stuff. Very akin to a, a Facebook model in that way. And some of the bigger charities wanted to use it to collaborate with other charities. So um, they're the, they've been the, the early adopters. And actually, um, the sort of activist community is very vibrant on the internet. And a lot of people are, are looking to the web to help them shape the way that our policy and the thoughts are going. And so that's, that's been quite a, a vibrant community. Are you finding that some countries are responding faster than others? And if so, who? Totally. Um, I think what's really interesting is if you look at general internet usage globally and, and world of usage globally, there is a lot of parallels and, and there is that problem with impact and the fact that you can't get into a lot of sub-Saharan Africa, um, a lot of Asia, in that the, there isn't the internet um, usage there, They're, they don't have the technology. So um, I think a lot of what we're doing is now trying to move on to the mobile platform so that we have a lot higher uptake. But then we've got the kind of traditional stuff. I mean, America's using it a lot. Australia, Britain, that makes sense. It's a British startup, so it's mm -hmm. English-based. Um, but we have had some surprises as well. Uzbekistan, love it. Didn't see that coming. Don't really know why. Love it, though. Good stuff. It might be interesting to find out why, actually. I, I, I can't trace that one. I, I, I've looked, See if it's looked. replicable. Yes. Right. Yes. <laughs> um, so why are you here at the web? I'm here at the web for um, a variety of reasons. I think it's always quite an inspirational one, the web. There's always the the random, the, the slightly bizarre talk that just fires some synapses and gets you excited about something. Um, and I love the people, and it's one of the melting pots, you know. Uh, you guys come over, there's lots of Americans, there's lots of Germans, Swiss, Scandinavian, and you can get a bit London-centric just uh, staying at London all the time, so it's nice to get out, out and about. We feel the same way in Silicon Valley, at least some of us do, so <laughs> I'm definitely well, we happy to be here. Well, I'm happy to be here to hear a different perspective too, so I understand that. Well, thanks very much. And one more question. Where can people learn more and if they want to get involved in um, supporting you guys? Sure. Well, we'd love everyone. Uh, a whole lot of what we do is about basically allowing you to play to your strengths. So if you're an uh, awesome graphic designer, then come on, connect with a charity and help them redesign their logo. Or if you're an accountant or whatever you do, if you're awesome at something, then someone needs you, you know, so that we're all about connecting people. And we're at www.worldeka.com, so W-O-R-L-D-E-K-A. And are you also on Twitter? Oh yes, uh, Worldeka, at Worldeka, and I'm at Sophie Cox, so feel free to come make friends with me. And that's at W-O-R-L-D-E-K-A, so we'll tune in. Thanks very much. Thank you.